You know how to get the benevolent leader trophy or achievement. Now, I only figured out how to do this because of one video on YouTube, and hopefully, this video will help you out too. It took a while, it mostly just takes patience. I see a lot of people on YouTube making complex videos about it, but all you need is one seller in Red Rocket. So, this is how I did it from a, a tip that I saw on YouTube. So first off, you want to make sure that you have Cap Collector. I think you only need level two Cap Collector. And you need max local leader. So, what you need is Two turrets, just two, place them wherever you like. I just placed them right here for whatever reason. And two beds, well, I have two beds, but you could really just put one. Um, and you need 20 moot fruits in your uh, workshop. Put that in your workshop. And do not forget your uh, two water pumps, two water pumps, two turrets, 20 moot fruits, and you want a level two bar. I have here, and uh, I, I think you can maybe do it with the trader and the clinic and the clothing. As long as it's a uh, level 2 or more, which is, this is level 2, this is level 3. And you need a seller for that. Wherever the hell he is, right there. So, one bed, two turrets, level 2 bar. 20 moot fruits in your workshop, and of course, some water. And one seller and some damn patience. It took me probably like four hours in game to complete this. Four to five hours. Um, another thing I like to show you is I do have max charisma um the two being added from i think a bobblehead and a piece of clothing i'm wearing this this right here the sharp whatever sharp pieces you have give you one charisma and intelligence and um as you can see in my sanctuary, I tried to do it in sanctuary, but it's at a 93, but it takes forever, especially with a larger settlement, with larger people, uh, because it keeps on going up and down, and you notice I have 32, the only reason I have 32, even though your, your, uh, sellers go by your charisma, see, I have 12, and that, how many sellers you can hold in each settlement is times, uh, I'm not times plus 10 whatever charisma you have so naturally my cap limit for each uh, amount of sellers I can have in each settlement is 22 but since I have that uh, robot DLC which I went blank on its name like the mechanist DLC uh, I can after completing the mechanist DLC you can go back to that chick repeatedly and get rogue robot not every time but sometimes you'll save some sellers and you can always go up to them and tell them hey I got you a place you can live and send them to sanctuary no matter your charisma level so that's why I have 32 in sanctuary which can get hectic once you start printing a lot in one one settlement but so 
for 100% happiness for this long trophy, you need one cellar, two turrets, two waters, 20 moot fruits in your workshop, and a level 2 bar, and a bed, and do not worry about placing, you know, plants or crops or whatever, because you just need some food, like uh, 20 moot fruits in your inventory or whatever equals to uh, 20, because uh, the moot fruits is like the only crop that equals to 1, so you just put 20 in there. And after you got the turrets, the water, the moot fruits, and a level 2 bar, and the, the cellar, and the bed, you just wait. And it takes time. You have to play. And some people say to idle and sit around. That's boring. I'm not going to sit here all day with my PlayStation running and just sit here and red rock it until it happens. No. I just, you know, just play the game until it happens. And then quest and right uh, right before I got this trophy, I was actually looking for my ninth bobblehead because that's my last two trophies I've got to get is the bobblehead trophies, and then I'll get platinum. Hoorah! So yeah, two turrets, a level two bar, which is this one or you could do these or whatever one you want but just don't do these because they don't max they don't have a lot of happiness I mean they produce happiness but not enough for what you need and 20 moot fruits right now I have 10 because he's munching on them since I've put him in there so 20 in there two water pumps two turrets, one bed, one cellar, one level two bar, 20 moot fruits, and a lot of patience. That's how I got it. Hopefully this will help you out. And um, just as a reminder, also, it's good to have charisma. That's the first thing I maxed out when I created my character. I didn't max it out, but I pretty much put it to a level seven on this playthrough. But, uh, Cap Collector, uh, I, I'm not sure if you have to max it out. Yeah, I think you have to at least have it at a level 2. But, I mean, max it out if you want. And you have to have a max local leader. So, I think you have to have, it'll be at least a level 14 or 20 to be able to do this. Which, I prefer... I prefer doing a higher level because you know more caps you come across and whatnot. So those two perks of cap collector and local leader, two turrets, level two bar, one cellar, one bed, twenty moot fruits in your workshop inventory, and two water pumps. Don't worry about anything else, and just wait. Just play the game. Do some quests you know, destroy the institute, or if you already done that, I don't know, go do Preston Garvey missions. <laughs> no, don't do those. They're a waste of time. I mean, not necessarily, but they're just tedious. So, that's it. That's what got me the trophy. Only one video where it helped me to get this the fastest way, and I hope this will help you too. Peace out.